Hey everybody, back with another time-lapse watercolor painting. This one's done on a little mixed media canvas panel that I had. I'd actually never uh, used one of these before. It's a little rougher than watercolor paper. Uh, it's a little harder to sketch on. Um, kind of wish I had used a different pencil and a different eraser because it does get kind of uh, smudged, but I kind of work around that with the paints. And then I'm basing this little dragon off one of my baby geckos, one of my little baby gargoyle geckos that just recently hatched. Um, you'll probably see a lot of paintings of little baby dragons right now because uh, it is baby gecko season. So um, instead of drawing like in that photo I just showed um, the dragon on hand, I decided to have it like he was climbing up onto a rock. Um, though thinking back, I probably kind of wishing I had done like a little hand and then done a tiny little species of dragon because now I'm thinking that would have been really cute to do like a little bitty dragon because these little baby geckos I have are so tiny um so I'm, I might be doing another drawing like I said I've got so many baby geckos right now that that's all I can think about um I've had like I think 15 baby geckos hatched in the past couple of weeks so I've been busy um so yeah so back to the drawing this is of course sped up I think this is like uh, 10 times sped up and I wasn't really liking composition so I draw a couple eggs down here um, so like he's a little baby that hatched but then my brain's like well why is he out of the nest on the opposite side away from the eggs and sitting on a rock and like not in the nest and I started thinking oh maybe he's a tiny species of dragon that uh, maybe he's not a baby maybe he's actually an adult tiny little dragon that actually uh, steals eggs so I don't know I always think of like weird little stories so anyway so here are the watercolor brushes I just got in um, I love these things I think I've shown them before but you basically um, you fill them with clean water they have little nylon bristles and uh, you unscrew them and uh, unscrew it the right direction and they have a little water reservoir and you just fill that with clean water and of course I um, fill them over like a sink or something. I try to do it here and uh, of course I, I end up spilling water kind of everywhere, but uh, not too bad. So they are kind of small and not easy to fill. So yeah, so fill those with clean water and then you just put the top back on and then you give them a squeeze and then clean water runs down to the bristles and then you just use it like a normal paintbrush and they work absolutely great so you always have clean water and I fill a couple of these up I got like a 10 pack I thought they were going to be different sizes which is why I got the 10 pack uh, but they ended up being all the same size which is fine, they were small, and I already have some that are different sizes, so I end up just filling up three, so I have them handy. Um, I don't worry about filling up every single one of them, but you can see there, just make sure you uh, screw it all the way in or they will leak. I found that out the hard way, and you just give them a little squeeze, and then you get water down to the bristles. So they're really handy to have. A lot of watercolor sets now come with them, which is kind of cool. And this is my Meaden watercolor set. I really like this set because it has so many different colors and I'm just mixing up some nice earth tones here. Uh, brown for the body color and again I've sped this up. Obviously I wish I could paint this fast uh, and I'm just laying down the base body color and I picked colors very similar to the baby gecko because I was just kind of feeling a more realistic uh, kind of earth tone colors. I don't know why. Most of my dragons tend to be way more whimsical and fantasy, and I was just kind of going for something uh, not the norm for me. Uh, something a little bit different style. And I say realistic like dragons are real, but you know what I mean. Like if, if dragons were real, something that has more of a, more of a realistic look. And um, just something where I could get... Uh, you know, not a ton of detail in this little piece because this is a small painting, but um, something that can give it a, uh, there's a little bit of sense of realism. And then just going back with that same color to darken a few areas for shadows. And just using that 
brush and then to clean the brush you just give it a squeeze and then uh, it gets all the paint off the nylon bristles here mixing up a little bit of uh, yellow ochre with that brown base color to do uh, a belly color and again I tend to always do belly colors lighter than the body because that's how most reptiles are um, and then doing the wings uh, the center of the wings a lighter color uh, again just a it's a you know a, a personal choice but it's sort of a, again I say more realistic and I, you know I use that term loosely as if you know you know I try to think of dragons if if they were real what they would look like and like I said I'd always try to think of like silly little stories and things like that too behind everything and I do the eye the same color uh, as the belly and here I'm mixing up a metallic silver which you cannot see in the video unfortunately um, but it's very shiny very pretty uh, like sparkly metallic silver this set actually has a lot of metallics um, and I do end up using a metallic copper later and here I'm mixing a darker brown to add in some markings um, again I was you know looking at that photo of the little baby gargoyle gecko and kind of um, doing kind of similar markings not exactly the same but you know kind of getting an idea and the little baby gargoyle gecko um, photo that I was using he had some or he or she I don't know yet had some really cool little uh, bands and everything so trying to kind of get that look and then also at the same time using that darker brown uh, for a few shadows and here I'm mixing up a gray uh, it's Payne's gray to do some of the darkest shadows I try not to use black generally speaking um, and it was even a little too dark so you can see there I did lift with a dry brush uh, in some areas where it was just a little too much and then going back and adding uh, the shadows into the wings I do try to use these water brushes um, through most of this painting as just uh, kind of a demonstration on how these water brushes work and sorry I cut ahead quite a bit there because my uh, iPad that I'm normally recording with ran out of space and I didn't realize it so here I did the background and a couple of different shades of green uh, painted the rock gray and adding a lot of details into the rocks uh, just to make it kind of look like uh, texture adding in some scales into the dragon and then uh, the eggs I painted sort of like an off whitish yellow painted for some shadows on them I use a white gel pen at the very end to do the final highlights and there it's all finished so I hope you've enjoyed seeing this painting process and if you'd like to see some real-time painting uh, just let me know in the comments below